Hello and welcome to our 16th video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we will explain the function and working of each automotive sensor in detail. Today we're going to dive deep into the world of G-Force sensor. Whether you're a beginner or just curious, we'll keep it simple and easy to understand. We'll explore what they are, how they work, and why they are crucial for your vehicle's performance. See description for links to the playlist. Let's get started. First, let's understand what a G-Force sensor is. A G-Force sensor measures acceleration or deceleration forces acting on the vehicle. It detects how quickly the car speeds up or slows down, similar to how you feel when a friend suddenly presses the accelerator. It's also called accelerometer sensor. It's like a tiny measuring device that senses force. Now why is this sensor important? Imagine you're driving on a busy road. When you hit the brakes, your body pushes forward. The G-Force sensor helps the car's computer decide how much force to use for braking or acceleration. This ensures better control and safety, especially during emergency situations. In simple terms, it helps keep you safe on the road. Now, let's break down how the G-Force sensor works, step by step. When the car accelerates or brakes, the G-Force sensor detects this change. Inside the sensor, there's a small weight, often called a mass, that moves in response to these forces. Picture this like a pendulum swinging when you push it. As this mass moves, it creates electrical signals. These signals change based on how much force is being applied. Think of it like how your phone vibrates more when you get a strong notification versus a soft one. The sensor sends these signals to the car's computer system. This is like sending a message to your friend about what's happening. The computer then understands how fast the car is going and whether it's speeding up or slowing down. Finally, the computer uses this information to adjust various systems in the car, like the brakes and stability control. For example, if you suddenly brake hard, the sensor alerts the computer to apply the brakes more firmly, helping prevent skidding. It's like having a smart assistant that knows exactly how to help you drive safely. Let's relate this to something you might experience. Imagine you're driving on a twisty road. When you turn quickly, the G-Force sensor measures the sideways force. If the force is too high, the computer can adjust the brakes to keep you stable. This is why you feel secure even when making sharp turns. The G-Force sensor is typically located near the vehicle's center of gravity, often under the dashboard or in the engine compartment. In some performance vehicles, it may also be integrated into the suspension system for more precise measurements. To sum up, the G-Force sensor is crucial for understanding how forces affect a vehicle. It senses movement, generates signals, sends data to the car's computer, and helps keep you safe while driving. Understanding this technology makes you a more informed driver and helps you appreciate how your car works. There are mainly two types of G-Force sensors. One, analog sensors. These provide a continuous signal based on the force detected. Think of it like a smooth wave in the ocean. 2. Digital sensors. These send signals in discrete steps, similar to a light switch that's either on or off. Both types have their uses, depending on the vehicle's design and needs. So how do you know if your G-Force sensor is failing? Here are some signs to look out for. If the dashboard warning light for traction control or stability system comes on. If the car feels unstable during turns or braking. If the car hesitates or responds slowly when you accelerate. If you notice any of these, it might be time to check your sensor. If you suspect your G-Force sensor is faulty, you can test it yourself. Here's how. Make sure the wiring and connectors are tight and not damaged. Set your multimeter to measure voltage. Disconnect the sensor and connect the multimeter to the sensor's pins. With someone else driving, observe the voltage changes as the car accelerates and brakes. It should change smoothly. If the readings are inconsistent or flat, your sensor might be faulty. Always remember to follow safety precautions while testing. And that's a wrap on G-Force sensors. Now you know what they are, why they're important, how they work, the types available, and how to test them. In the next video, we'll be diving into the Your Rate Sensor. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Click the link in the description to watch the full playlist on automotive sensors and continue learning more about your car. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more automotive tutorials. Thank you for watching, and drive safely.